Yes, you read right. Climate change has been found on Pluto. Now, this is the second in my series on climate change in the planets. The first was uh, on Neptune. And now we're moving on to Pluto. Now, different occultations of, uh, of stars by Pluto have been observed, starting in 1988. Uh, and the second one in 2002, and the third one in 2006. Now, what an occultation is, is when a star goes behind a planet, or if you like, a planet passes in front of a star. In this case, a dwarf planet, because Pluto is now a dwarf planet. Now, using the starlight, we can probe the uh, planetary atmosphere. So we can find out quite a lot about planetary atmospheres by probing them with uh, with the distant starlight. This work has been done by Elliot et al. The first paper was published in 1989. And he showed that the atmosphere of Pluto was uh, at a temperature of 117 Kelvin, Kelvin and the surface around about 40 Kelvin. But the interesting part is the atmosphere between 1988 in 2002, that's in a space of 14 years, the atmospheric pressure doubled. This is what Elliot et al. said in their paper, quote, Pluto's atmosphere below 1,230 kilometers radius cannot be described by current models and showed remarkable structural changes between 1988 and 2002, unquote. Now, the observations were carried out by, in 2006, it's by Siding Spring in Australia, Black Spring, Stockport, Mount Stromlo and Hobart, all in Australia. And it was an occultation of star P384.2. Now, rapid extinctions were found in 1988, close to the surface of Pluto, and the thermal, thermal gradient in the atmosphere Starts at the surface at 40 Kelvin and goes up to 100 Kelvin. Now, in 1989, they found a temperature of 117 Kelvin, and that had dropped to 97 Kelvin in 2002. Now, another quote from the Elliot et al. paper in uh, 2007 is, quote, the large pressure change in Pluto's atmosphere which was noted between 1988 and 2002, unquote. And this is Elliot's paper from 2004, which describes the changes that happened between 1988 and 2002. So you can read it there. So we can see from this that our CO2 is even more powerful than anyone ever dreamed. It's even causing climate change on fucking Pluto. <laughs>